Hi, welcome to ACE Teachers Online, a series of tutorials for students. My name is Rosie and today I'll be taking you through a question about the inverse square law from the World Communicates module of Preliminary Physics. So, in this question, we have a sound source which is placed to the right of a person's head as shown in the diagram. Now, since this sound source is on the right of the person's head, the sound obviously travels a smaller distance to reach the person's right ear as it does the left ear. And so we're also told in our question that in order for the person to be able to tell that the sound is coming from the right, we need a difference in intensity of at least 1.5 times between the two ears. So let's start by labelling our variables. So let the distance between the sound and the right ear be a distance dr, and the distance to the left ear, let's call that dl. So the intensity of the sound at the right ear is ir, and the intensity of sound on the left ear is il. Now, the inverse square law states that the intensity of a wave is proportional to 1 over the distance squared. So if we convert this proportionality into an equation, we can say that i is equal to k over d squared, where k is the constant of proportionality. In other words, k is equal to i multiplied by d squared, and k is a constant fixed value for a particular sound source, like in this question. So let's apply the inverse square law to both the sound of the right ear and on the left ear. So on the left, we have il multiplied by dl squared is equal to k, and on the right, we have ir over d, uh, multiplied, sorry, by dr squared is equal to k. So now we can equate these two. So we have il dl squared is equal to ir dr squared. And if we rearrange that, we can come up with an equation il over ir is equal to dr squared over dl squared. So let's call this equation 1 and we'll save that away for later. Now, from this question, we can also see that the diameter of the head is 18 centimetres. So what this means is that the distance to the right ear is equal to the distance to the left ear minus 18. So now we can insert this into equation 1. So we have IL over IR is equal to DL minus 18 squared is equal over DL squared. Now, from this equation, we can see that as the distance of the sound from the left ear increases, this ratio, IL over IR, approaches 1. So, as the distance of the sound from the left ear increases, we can see that this ratio, IL over IR, approaches 1. In other words, the difference in their intensity decreases. So this is a very important relationship to realise for this question. Now, from the question, we're told that we need a minimum difference in intensity of 1.5 times. So that means that the maximum distance that the sound can be placed from a person's head and still have that 1.5 times is when the maximum distance, as we're trying to find, occurs when the difference in intensity is equal to 1.5 times. So, since the intensity at the right ear will be greater than the intensity at the left ear, then we know that IR is equal to 1.5 times IL. So now we can insert this relationship into this equation up here. So let's call this equation 2. So from equation 2, we have IL over 1.5 IL is equal to, I'm going to expand out this square, so DL squared minus 36 DL plus 324 over DL squared. Now, we can cancel off our ILs, and from this, 
we have a simple quadratic equation. So this equation is 0 is equal to 0 0.5 dl squared minus 54 dl plus 486. Now, using the quadratic equation, we get two values for dl. So one of these values is 98 centimetres and the other one is 9.9 .9 centimetres. Now, we have two possible values for dl from our quadratic equation. But if we come back over here, we see that dr is equal to dl minus 18. And since dr has to be a positive value, then we know that dl has to be bigger than 18 centimetres, which means that this answer of 9.9 .9 is not possible, and the only possible answer is 98 centimetres. So what we've discovered here is that in order for the person to accurately determine that a sound from their right is indeed coming from their right, the sound source can be placed a maximum distance of 98 centimetres from their left ear and 80 centimetres from their right ear. Of course, this situation can also be reversed. So if we had a sound source on our left, then the sound source on the left can be placed a maximum distance of 98 centimetres from the right ear and 80 centimetres from our left ear. So this question represents a simplified um, scenario when the head doesn't actually affect the propagation of sound through it. But in reality, solid objects such as the head creates what's known as an acoustic shadow behind it, such that it decreases or further dampens down the intensity of the sound at the more distant ear. So in reality, at this distance that we've calculated of 80 centimetres, the intensity difference between the left and the right ear is actually greater than the 1.5 times. So that means that in reality, we can place the sound source slightly further away and still have the same magnitude of intensity difference. Thanks so much for watching. To see our previous video, click here. To see our next video, click here. And for more information on ACE, click on the link down below.